One of my homies posted this on her Facebook page. And I was like, we need to talk about this because this is the type of energy we women need to have. Stop doing all of the unpaid labor at work and for these organizations. Let the men hold their own nuts. Let the men pick up some of the slack. This was posted in the 2X chromosome subreddit and I'm here for it. This woman says, we didn't volunteer to organize Secret Santa at work. So the men decided not to hold it at all. She says, I work in a male dominated field. I only have one other female coworker out of a team of 15. In previous years, organizing Secret Santa has been a responsibility that silently falls onto our womanly shoulders. Even though we are all technical employees and such things are not in our job description. This year, we decided not to volunteer to do it. We are too burnt out and underpaid to be doing any favors, especially not based on gender roles. So at our weekly meeting, my boss asked for a raise of hands of who would like to participate in Secret Santa. Most of the men raised their hands, but my female colleague and I did not. My boss did a double take and asked for a raise of hands again, clearly fishing for us to participate and jump into name taking and rule setting, but our hands remained in our laps. He then singled me out and asked if I was planning on participating and I said no, short and sweet. So without any protest from any of the guys, he said, okay, I guess we are passing on Secret Santa this year. She says, nice. I don't have to spend precious time cutting slips with names or spending the next month having um, them come up to ask who their recipient is because they forgot. And I get my $30 back for myself. The men are too feckless and entitled to my labor to step up and organize an event they wanted to hold in the first place. And I love that for them. Bless their hearts. Earlier this month, the guys were saying that they have their wives buy Secret Santa gifts anyway, so I feel like we've done them a solid two. Edit. I got a Reddit cares message for this. Can y'all not abuse helpline systems? This post made me upset. It's not a reason to do this. I love this for all the women involved. The fact that the wives don't have to go out and try to buy a gift for a random person This makes me so happy. This makes me so happy that a woman said no and didn't try to justify herself. It makes me so happy that they stood on business. And I want so many of us to do this this year. Please do this this year. Stop doing all of the extra at work. Stop being the one that cleans up after a party, that organizes the holiday party without being paid for it. Stop doing all of this unpaid labor for these people because... So much runs simply because women are a resource. They get to suck our time, energy, and resources from us, but think that men are the natural leaders somehow. They're the natural leaders because somehow they get women to do it, and then they get to like congratulate themselves or something. The fact that the wives are buying the gifts anyway, like she said, oh my gosh, now the wives don't have to do it. Let's keep this energy going into the holiday season, ladies. Okay, let's get into some of these comments. Bluebird said, the audacity, though, that he didn't even ask any of the men to organize it, WTF. Archangel says, I would have honestly um, asked the follow-up question as soon as boss canceled. I know I'm not participating and have no skin in the game, but why are you canceling when the majority of the group wanted to do it? Then sit back, demure, and mindfully wait for Wait for them to come up with an answer that's not sexist. A caffeinated wondrous had this comment and y'all needed to see it. She says, yep, I've definitely had experiences where I have passed on doing the social glue labor once. Seeing all the dudes who have benefited from it sitting aghast with their thumbs up their bunk holes and refusing to carry the torch even once and thinking to myself, yeah, never again. I love that. She said, social glue labor social glue labor. That is what the women are there for. Even when there's not a term for it, that is what the women are doing. Weedle says, it's honestly unbelievable. These dudes just wanted a free gift and party while putting zero work into it, even outsourcing the gift purchasing to their wives. And the caffeinated um, wanderer says, yeah, it never ceases to shock me. The level of entitlement some dudes raised to expect patriarchal coddling have. Yes, that entitlement is like 
embedded in their DNA. And then like the um, cute cat girl says, and then they huff and puff their chest about being leaders. Yes, logical leaders that can't do a simple thing like organizing a secret sand. Unsancta Mommy says, you and the other woman should get each other something. I love this for you all. And then the OP says, I will. She's the coolest. Um, the antique says, make a big scene about giving it to her in front of everybody. And Ort Cloud says, overt Santa. And this person at the bottom says, blinked blatant Santa. Because, of course, this is, they're talking about secret Santa. So we're now doing overt Santa or blatant Santa. Orchid Leader says, I work in IT. A few months ago, I left my software development team to be a software architect. Last week, I asked one of the guys on my old team how it's been going without me, and he said it's like the spirit of the team is just gone. I mentioned that even if it seems as if everyone on the team is contributing to the vibe, there's always at least one person that's going out of their way to initiate things to keep the spark going. It's not something that's free effort-wise that will just happen on its own, so I suggested he pick up the torch. He was like, no thanks. He's just going to live with the team being cold and impersonal. She says, edit. I just saw another comment refer to it as social glue labor. And gosh, that is spot on. I wanted to get to this because, because we're at a point right now where um, these companies are seemingly attempting to um, erase DEI erase the the um the gains of DEI and women and all of that and it's going to erase a lot of the magic that goes along with diversity because women are part of that diversity and you know it's going to be interesting it's going to be dry and for that reason I think even more so today in the politics of today women need to just continue to pull all the way back just like that just pull all the way back this person says, ha ha, nice. This year, my mother-in-law took up hosting Thanksgiving. She sent a text to us all with the seven dishes under her name that she'll be providing, including all the possible proteins you could want. Sister-in-law got delegated to her eggs and a vague dessert, and I got two, including salad. Normally, I prefer, prepare a good salad, but my give an F is low this year. I'm sorry, but my give a F this year is so low. I'm going to dump a bag of lettuce in a bowl, set out some bottled ranch, and call it good. If I even bother with the second dish, it's only because I feel like it, but right now, I don't. I wonder if you can raise your hand, how many of you have a given F that is ridiculously low this year? Go ahead, raise your hand. Uh, slightly dramatic says, something very similar happened to me one year for the 4th of July barbecue at my in-laws, and my husband ended up making potato salad the morning of. But because, of he, because he didn't know what he was doing, he stirred everything together with steaming hot potatoes and mashed it all into mush, which I found quite amusing until we showed up and he got sympathy because I wouldn't do anything for the family. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then at the bottom, this person says, I recently read that the fifth B, um, the fifth no of the 4B movement should be or is no more emotional labor, no more emotional labor for men. No more. I mean, unless there's some reciprocation, some support back and forth and all of that. But otherwise, no. Blue Side says, I've honestly stopped doing a lot of what is more than necessary from me around the house, like cleaning up after his messes he leaves behind or overextending myself in general in areas where it's not appreciated or it just gets immediately negated. And it's clear it's not respected nor or recognized as actual work or value that I bring to the table. I'm just done doing it for everyone in any capacity. He hasn't been responding well. Mostly the people who expect too much of me or benefit from my own lack of boundaries haven't responded well. The people who are healthy themselves or also suffered the same way are proud of me. Most validating has been the therapist and insurmountable evidence from other accounts and third parties going through the same. I know I'm not crazy and it's not me. Some stuff is me and I'm grateful for my self-awareness and willingness to work through it. Being in toxic cycles makes that nearly impossible, though. The people who want you to stay in these toxic cycles likely benefit from you making little to no growth because it serves them in some way. I am not where I want to be, and I'm not proud of, that I've got walls up now, and I'm doing less than I want to be either. 
I'm finding a new place for myself and I'm in a weird spot, but I'm not letting people take more of myself than I can give or they show me they deserve any more. No one should. They certainly don't want that for themselves. Why do they expect it from us? I like that. You know, do not give more of yourself than you can give. That's absolutely spot on. And I want us to all remember that when it comes to money, where it comes to your time, where it comes to your energy, the answer is no at this juncture because people are not appreciative in this day and age. Just say no. Join the conversation. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.